really happy to welcome into the studio Karma. Hello. <laughs> that's, that's really massive welcome. Um, and the first thing I need to do is shout out to Rosie oh, for yeah. sending me your details. Like this is amazing because it's very um, it's hard like you know to find artists sometimes. So to get people on this um, on this station to help me out is is a massive help. Um, how do you guys know each other? Uh, we work together, or we used to work together. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This is good news then. Yeah. <laughs> Who, yeah big thanks to Rosie. <laughs> yeah, no, Rose. I mean, she's a hat trick winner. So yeah. when you, when you get someone who's got a hat trick of awards, yeah. um, at the Riverside Christmas party, you know, like, yeah, yeah. I don't need to look at this one. I trust you on this <laughs> one. So, um, the first thing I want to do is start off with where did it all start for you with music? Oh, um. I think, well, I've always been into music. I've definitely always been singing um, just around the house. I probably annoyed everybody I've ever lived with. Um, (laughs) um, But yeah, I didn't start uh, writing my own songs until sort of university. Um, But I got really into acapella at university as well. So this is good news. Yeah, yeah, just into any, you know, sort of music. I just I I just have always loved it. And then I started performing a little bit, uh, doing open mics and things like that. Um, and then lockdown happened, which killed it. Um, oh God, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> but uh, post lockdown, I started writing songs that I felt a bit sort of happier with, and so I've started recording stuff now. But then, saying like you know, say lockdown kind of killed a lot of things. Yeah, it, it did. Like you know, with the live sessions and everything, that really did do bad things for that. But in all fairness, when it came to having so much time off, mm. did that help you a lot? Um, especially I, being on your own. Yeah, I think. I guess, like, from, like, a personal perspective, it's quite nice to just have some space from everything. Mm. Um, yeah, because it just sort of gives you time to kind of process some things that you sort of don't do, like, in your everyday life, I guess. Yeah, because I think the maddest thing for me as well yeah. was how much time you got. Yes. Yeah, All yeah, the yeah, things yeah. you wanted to do, you could do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. And I feel like I really learned to appreciate having, like, downtime and not just, like, stacking it up. Because definitely at university, and you just, like, go, go, go all the time. Was it straight um, after university? Uh, pr- uh, it was a year or two after, oh, okay, I think. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, in terms of, like, creatively, I, I actually didn't write anything during lockdown. The first song I wrote was after the first night out after <laughs> lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> because it was just the best feeling in the world and just yeah, yeah. everything was good again. Um, and I think just hearing like new music and just going out and getting back in the vibe just, um, just got the creative juices going. <laughs> so what did you do at uni? Uh, I did natural sciences. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I ask, because some people do it. And I'm yeah. always like, what did you do? And they're like, oh, no, I didn't do anything to do with music. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I actually did nothing to do with Natural think, science. <laughs> in fairness, I spent more of my university doing a cappella music than actual study. <laughs> <I think. laughs> but it was like, what was it, like Brian May? Like, because I had yeah. Tim Stafford on the show. And they like, like none of them did like anything musical. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. Like, made a band while at uni and... That's yeah. how that story happens. That's why I always ask now. Yeah, no, it's a really good idea. <laughs> yeah. And um, I also saw recently on your Instagram, you've been travelling. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's non-stop for you. It's like <laughs> uni, <laughs> lockdown, travelling. Yeah, I, I like so many things in life, I guess. Um, I have a lot of passions in a lot of different areas, and so it can be quite hard to fit everything in, but uh, I do my best. <laughs> See, what I like here is because I've had so many musicians, like, I've had like Italian, Bulgarian, Romanian... Irish, every like you know, you're coming on to this. I've got massive, you know, um, different people come on from there, mm. but very rarely I've had people I know who have been a musician from England go out travelling. Oh, right. Is it, yeah. like, so, how does that change um, as a musician? Like, do you kind of look for inspiration out there, or do you shut your brain off and say, no, no, this is time off from music? What does that kind of be like for you? Yeah, I think when I travel, I tend to kind of shut my brain off a bit, um, but I often find, for me, the thing that inspires me with music is hearing different sorts of music. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think just going somewhere and absorbing different sounds uh, sort of means when you come back, your brain subconsciously starts ticking things over and then I'll write something and be like, oh, okay, it's, it's clearly related to that. Um, <laughs> so it's not, not a very conscious thought process, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> One question I need to ask is, are you that annoying person round the bonfire <laughs> with your guitar? <laughs> I really try not to be. <laughs> you are, aren't you? I know. <laughs> I like I'm so <laughs> conscious of it I okay I do take the guitar to a lot of places but I don't necessarily get it out because I do not want to be like that person so I sort of just wait for someone to suggest <laughs> see I love that see I love uh, uh, that kind of vibe you know I, yeah. I did sort of Australia New Zealand and I loved all that you know different people from different areas of the world all bringing their kind of different um different uh, instruments and everything it's really nice yeah. but some people are just like oh here we go Wonder Wall's about <laughs> to happen <laughs> exactly like yeah I don't want to be like that person you know? <laughs> do, you, um, do you ever look for, like open mic nights 
Um, yeah, yeah, I do. Um, I do a few around. I haven't done so many recently. Um, I think because I've been focusing on trying to get stuff like recorded, mm-hmm. and also I guess my sound sort of moved in a direction that requires more like backing band stuff. So mm. I'm actually looking to get a backing band at the moment. So I've got a drummer <laughs> and a lead guitarist. But if anyone plays the bass or rhythm guitar, oh, really, you're actually yeah. looking for me right now. Actually- <laughs> This could be this could be a little fun little thing we could do, <laughs> yeah. like the, the, the live of Lane radio show on air acoustic um, advert kind of yeah. thing. We need to put this out. We can try and do this, by the way. Yeah. We try and collab. I'll try and help oh find God, people because I've got like people do come in like guitarists yeah, yeah, yeah. who work with other people, and they do say to me they're like, oh, if by the way, if you have an artist who needs a guitarist, like, can you put them my way? So people do actually genuinely come in and yeah. say like, look for opportunities, oh, which amazing. I love. Yeah. I love that. I'm like, mm. like. It's brilliant, like this little platform's almost becoming like um I don't know, it's coming bigger and bigger and I'm like really proud of it. It's like my Aww. little baby. It's my oh, little baby in it. Yeah. <laughs> but every, everything's like that. You're an entertainer as well, like you know, yeah. even with like your music. Mm. Like you were saying earlier, just before we came on, um and you've got so many different songs and you just want to get them out there. Yeah. So I think we should talk about um, songs. And one mm. of your, the, my favourite ones of yours, <laughs> like, I absolutely love it, it's proved to me. Oh, thank like, you. honestly, I absolutely <laughs> love it. That's so good. Like, it's so, such a good song. But everyone I've shown it to. Yeah. Like, you know, because like, when people do say, oh, put your music on the speaker or, or people will be round mine and I've got, you know, people around for dinner or, or whatever. It's, you know, your song does come on. Oh. And people do love it, by the yeah. way. So really well done. That's I know. So I, I don't want to embarrass you too much because I know what, like, I'm, I'm like that. They're like, yeah. oh, I've listened to your show. I'm like, oh, don't tell me. Don't give me a compliment. I'm like, oh. But then, people, like, you know, I have to say to you, it's, it's amazing and I'm a big fan of it. Thank so you. how did it all um, come about? Because it's quite a mad song. Like, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's got some mad energy. It's so sassy yeah. as well. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I think, honestly, I think it's just me uh, sort of entering my sassy era. <laughs> <laughs> This is good. Uh, yeah, no, it's good, it's good. It's definitely a big change from sort of stuff I used to write. I think I used to write very kind of like sad songs, which I never really felt like recording because I was like, I don't feel good like playing this. Yeah. So I guess I started to think more like, what do I want to put out there? What do I think is like an important message, I guess? Or maybe like something important that I've learned. Mm. And I guess for me, put one of the things was, um, if you constantly feel like you're trying to prove yourself to other people, you're constantly like, doing yourself dirty really like you're underestimating mm-hmm. yourself and yeah, true. there are a lot of people who can underestimate people just all the time so you sort of need to back yourself so it was just sort of the idea of like what if I flip the script and just think okay what if people need to prove themselves to me rather than me constantly feeling like I need to like prove myself to other people this is an amazing um, message yeah and I think a lot of people can like relate to that message I think there are a lot of people who are people who overthink things and you know can get a little bit stuck in their head and just mm. need to remember that you know, it's not about you having to like constantly scramble to try and prove you're enough because it's never something that you're going to feel like you reach. So, you know, once, that. yeah. So, you know, other people can take advantage of that sometimes. So, uh, screw them. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs> so, is it? It's not about some certain person, then, is it? Or is it? Because I'm always like this. I, I... Like, okay, so this song, like, not specifically, um, but I guess like different sort of people or different scenarios kind of come to mind once you're doing it. I mean, for me, like I said, so songs just kind of come to me, not even about anybody particularly a lot of the time. Um, and then I'll sort of play it and be like, oh, okay, yeah, no, I, that was from this scenario or whatever it was. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm always referring to a guy in this song, but I think it's often just, just kind of being sick of mansplaining, to be honest. <laughs> I feel like me and my friends have just received, especially studying science and things, sometimes you can just receive a lot of unsolicited advice. Oh, there you areas. go, there you go. And you're a bit like, I'm also as capable, so <laughs> come on, guys. <laughs> it's definitely one of those songs that I can imagine, windows down, volume turned up, and you're yeah. just screaming in the car, like, driving. I yeah. can definitely imagine. And it also gives me a lot of um, 90s to early noughties American yeah. vibe. Like, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. imagine on something like 10 Things I Hate About You. Yes, or... I love that film. Yeah, something like I love that. Letters to Cleo, so <laughs> this is all you know good. What I mean? good oh, there you go. I didn't even know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, do you know what I mean? Though, is it, it does give yeah. me those vibes. So um, yeah, I think that's just like such a good era of, I guess, films and mm. sort of revisiting as, them as well. I just think the energy is so good. Like yeah. we should like carry that and own that. But, like even like uh, who's actually just thinking of ten things I hate about you because that just popped into my head as the first. I don't know why that's the first <laughs> film. By the way, um, I don't know. It might say a lot about me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> might have just revealed a bad things about me. Um, but there's a song in there actually. Mm. I can't remember which one it is, and that's kind of a like, you know, yeah. Real, like, I want you, you to know. want me. By yes, the one. To clear, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> they do the whole album. They do the whole like album for yeah. the film. So, um, and that's a great one. Yeah. Well, I think. Well, there you go. I think this is the perfect like <laughs> moment to actually hear. Prove to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right, when you are ready. The, grab the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Always helps. <laughs> that's, yeah, it does help. <laughs> okay. Hello. 
world real clever The one that tells me I'm lucky to have you But how could I possibly do without you? I always wonder if maybe it's me But I seem to have got myself here just fine I may decide to bring a friend for the ride But it's not because I haven't got a capable mind We're so sick to death of being Advice. You should talk a little less, I'm not a damsel in distress Prove to me you're not like the other guys Cause I'm really sick of these controllers in disguise Tell me once, tell me twice, tell me about your great advice You should keep on walking if you think I'm gonna be talking about you You think I'm gonna be talking about you Subject, could you swallow your pride? And maybe we'll get through mistakes we humans is fine But I'm through with making myself smaller So I can fetch your ego and you wounded heart The devil was mine We're so sick to death of being treated this way Is it too much to ask when I'm seen? About your great advice You should talk a little less I'm not a damsel in distress Prove to me you're not like the other guys Cause I'm really sick of these controllers in disguise Tell me once, tell me twice Tell me about your great advice You should keep on walking If you think I'm gonna be talking about you You think I'm gonna be talking about you Tell me once, tell me twice, tell me about your great advice. That is so good. Who thought of that? Was that your lyrics? That was me, yeah. Oh, you are. I tell you, it's just so good. Thank you. That's actually the first bit of the song that came to me. Is it? I was literally on the bus um, back from meeting up with a friend. Nothing to do with my friend, by the way. I love good. her very much. Good. Oh, yeah. um, that's probably all the things we were talking about. That yeah, yeah, yeah. In life and the, and uh, yeah, that bit came to me and I was like, ooh, I feel like, that's kind of good. <laughs> and I like jotted it down road. and then sort of the rest of the song just started like flowing when I got home. But um, yeah, that was that was where it started, actually. <laughs> the nightmare moment of it is it pops into my head <laughs> <at> random points <laughs> of the day. Yeah. I'm no joking. <laughs> I'll just be walking through some. I'll just be like, tell me once, tell me twice, tell me about that great advice. And yeah. people will be like, you know, right? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, listen to this song. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm like, no, but honestly, um, that's amazing to have like sort of a, a front row 
tickets to that. That's just incredible. And it's exactly why I wanted to create this um, on air acoustic, just so I got to see some of the best up and coming talent um, that idea. London has to show. So I'm really happy. Oh, um, thank you. So have you got a music video out for Prove to Me? Yes, I do. Oh, it yes. Is. Um, I was trying to think if it was that one I look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> been a long day. Um, yeah. So how was it like doing a music video? Really fun. Uh, a lot of work. Mm-hmm. So um, because we filmed it in three different like scenes, it was like three different locations. So we ended up <laughs> from like when the song was done and then trying to do the video took genuinely almost a year trying to sort it all out. <laughs> um, but that's mainly because there are long periods in between of, you know, like trying to just to sort locations and things yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and just, you know, life. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, gosh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but um, lucky for me, I have a very, very good friend who um, I work in film and he works in film. And so oh. we're both able to sort of do the filming and editing like ourselves. Yeah, that's um, helped. Yeah, which is, yeah. <laughs> it's helped. not what you know, it's who you know. And it, sometimes it's not who you know, it's who you know. So, yeah, there you go, so right? True. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. No, I like that. So what's the promotion been for, like, Prove to Me? Like, how's it been like, you know, you, you, know, you bring out a song. Yeah. You put it on, I guess, Spotify, because that's where I've got it. Yeah. Uh, you know, all these different platforms, obviously, are around. What happens kind of next? Like, you bring out this song, because I saw you had, like, a, a party on yeah. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. So, like, no, awesome. Like, I would do that, yeah. if, a release party. Yeah. But, like, what happens next? Like, you can't just sit down and let it do its thing. Obviously, you've got to go and give it a push here and there. So, how do you do that? Yeah, well, so this is my first one that I've released. So, it's sort of a work in progress on mm-hmm. how to do that following, <laughs> I guess. Um, well, I've reached out to radio shows. Like, you're good. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Rosie. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and uh, I've been using TikTok a lot. So, trying mm. to keep up, like, regular social media posts. Um trying to get like a little trend going did not work <laughs> but i think that's how it goes we've all been there <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> um but you just got to try these things oh. um yeah and then hopefully going and doing some more live stuff which like i said i'm sort of getting around to that's the bit that's taken me the longest to do but i feel like that's probably the best way to start doing stuff because um, is it hard because like trying to get gigs because i feel like everywhere you go yeah. if you walked like an hour in london i i, I feel like you could write about 20 places that do open mic nights and that's just that little walk so is it quite easy to get open mic nights or is it hard yeah i mean just going to an open mic night is okay um getting gigs is like a little bit harder but Mm. i think i found that having the social media presence has really helped with sort of uh people finding me on that um which is good but uh for me, I'm such a perfectionist with things. I think partly it's just, I just need to crack on. I just need to like go do it. <laughs> yeah, that is kind of, that is, well, what is it? It's like 70% of it always is showing up. Yes, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> so so, um, so um, yeah. you do play the guitar, yes. um, which is another helping hand, I yes, guess. Yeah. Um, what other things? Do you, do you, I play piano. You play piano and guitar. Yeah. Wow. So guitar, I'm not that good at. I, I, I consider that my ability to play guitar is functional. Like, you say you're not that good I'm at guitar. I'm not that good at guitar. What? Like, <laughs> come on. No. You can do a song. Like, that's good. I can good. do a song, but like, I just learned enough guitar so that I could sing, basically. Like, so that I could have something I could sort of back myself with if I want, when I'm doing open mics and that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've been playing piano since I was like eight, so I'm much more comfortable on that. Um, just, you can't take a piano everywhere with you. <laughs> yeah, no, that's very true. <laughs> I've had one person who had um, a guitar. Uh, sorry, um, a piano here. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, one person. So it's not wow. it's not the popular choice. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> but what's, if someone was listening to this and was like, oh, I'm, I feel inspired. I really want to uh, learn an instrument. Yeah. Which one would you say? Would you say piano or guitar? Oh, um, probably guitar for versatility, I think. I think piano is a great instrument to start learning music on because, like, it's the easiest to start with because, like, you just press the press the note and it, it plays and it's fine. Mm-hmm. Whereas a guitar, it can take, like, a little bit of work to make it, like, sound quite nice. Mm-hmm. Um, but a guitar is just so much easier for taking around and things like that. Um, so, yeah. Good, because that's what I've bought. And that's oh, what I'm good. trying to learn. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes, I made the right choice. <laughs> um, so, um, you're bringing out more music. Yes. And that's why you're here. Mm-hmm. And we, I believe this is an exclusive. Yes, So it is. let's talk a little bit about this song, because yeah. I don't know anything about this oh, song. So oh, yeah. Okay. I'm with, yeah, this is like not like, you know, a little bit of information. This is like exclusive, exclusive. Yeah. So what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> it's called Screw You. <laughs> it's a little bit more aggressive than Proof to Me, <laughs> to be honest. Um, well, I'm glad we started with Proof to Me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, all, well, I was just about to say all my other songs are a lot like nicer and less angry, but I'm not quite, sh- quite sure if they are. <laughs> Some of them are. Um, but they're all generally supposed to be kind of good good vibes or like vibes that you need. So yeah. like this song is like a very cathartic song for me. It actually has a lot of lyrics that... Um, so I jot down lyrics like every week pretty much on my phone, but I very, they very rarely make it into a song. But mm. it's some lyrics that I jotted down 
I want to say like six years ago, like oh, wow. just little bits from like experiences that I had at the time that I thought this will work quite well as like a lyric. Um, and then, yeah, it just all came to me one day. So. <laughs> oh, there you go. And you can play that one on guitar? Uh, yes. That's good <laughs> <Just> news. <about. laughs> so I think music more, I think we should have more music. Yeah. Um, okay. let's, let's do Screw You. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. You ever find yourself remembering the battle times Wondering how you ever let your back receive his knife It's bound to happen to his dream at some point in our lives Thinking of some good advice, ignore it maybe once or twice It's far too easy to misread the words of every text Especially when you're stuck waiting for the words to come next If I'd have only known his efforts speak his true intent He never listened to my thoughts and got with worth much more than that Screw you, I hope you're happy in hell I hope your demons make you feel one half of the things you I hope she knows how you can switch your heart off Screw you, I hope you're happy in hell I hope those bullets that you begged me for If finally found a target that would guess I'm glad You made me mad Cause I'm stronger and wiser And I'll never fall for you again I hope that pedestal I put you on comes crashing down And this time I won't be the only one who hits the ground Your ego blinded you to all the little things I felt Well how were you to know? Oh yeah, I told you it was so Or maybe you knew every single move you ever made Thought you'd take advantage of me and see if you'll get laid Well bad news for you, I will never play a little game And after crying all that time, I know it's not myself to blame Screw you, I hope you're happy in hell I hope your demons make you feel one half of the things you put me through I hope she knows how you can switch your heart off Screw you, I hope you're happy in hell I hope those bullets that you begged me for If finally found a target that would guess I'm glad You made me mad Cause I'm stronger and wiser And I'll never fall for you again I moved on Never knew how great it would feel to have you go <laughs> <laughs> screw you <laughs> Whoa, i felt that one, <laughs> I felt that one. <laughs> your gigs must be crazy man um yeah they just must be full of energy and people must be like um 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 yeah so um yeah just with with the energy it must just be oh my word it must be just <laughs> off off the charts so um we, uh, got any gigs coming up kind of thing that's what we need to know we're wrapping this up now so yeah oh, gigs wow. let's, let's... I, I haven't got any in the diary yet but uh, I know it's <laughs> been a great place to say about <laughs> it <laughs> but I'm sure you will I should be yeah I should be having some coming up uh, certainly in the new year we're gonna gonna get on it okay awesome <laughs> so if people want to find out where you'll be playing yes. where can we find you um, everything on my will be on my Instagram on it's probably Instagram uh, <laughs> TikTok <laughs> Facebook I do all the things um, and youtube as well so there you go yeah, yeah. and the last question i'm going to hit you with is if you could play any venue in the world it's your dream venue this yeah. is the one which venue would it be oh my god that's such a good question or what stage <laughs> oh i don't know that's <laughs> such a good question maybe like glastonbury would be everyone, everyone says, says glastonbury, glastonbury. <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> i figured they would <laughs> so take festivals out of it okay festivals out of it um i think i think it was o2 that i've yeah, went to, to see um 
Ed Sheeran out. Was that the one he was at last year? Mm, could be. I can't remember, but it was just. He does, it was he does just a lot. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he does a lot. <laughs> he does a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've got uh, constant reminders like coming through my ticket things, being like, Ed Sheeran's got a show near you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Has he? <laughs> Back again? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, just one of the big London ones, but, I think. Yeah. It's just nice. Energy's good. No, I, I absolutely. So, um, no, thank you so much for coming in. Oh, I really, so really do appreciate it. This was amazing. So yeah. I'm really, really happy. And I wish you all the very best with all your music. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's been fantastic. Absolutely. <laughs>